Okay. I think we're to a point where we can try and launch. Really? Okay. So it's important that the first couple throws you just by hand, gentle, right? Yeah, we just wanted to see if it's doing something terribly erratic. Mm -hmm. We already know some of the tendencies. Mm -hmm. We have a turn. We've achieved a turn. It's going to orbit for us. Now That's, we have uh, to dial in the rest of the trim. This is a typical type of launcher. This is about 1 16th FAI rubber. Mm -hmm. And we'll, this is going to be our power source to get the glider up. Mm -hmm. We're going to hook the glider here. We're going to stretch it back. We're going to aim the glider towards the ceiling and release <laughs> and see what it does. Now, we already know it turns left, mm -hmm. okay? We don't know how much it turns left on launch yet. What I would suggest is we don't launch in the center of the, of the room yet. Because it, <laughs> it hits the wall. It could hit the wall. <laughs> okay. Right. All so, right. Is there anything you need to do to this rubber uh, just, uh, uh, just comes out like yeah, right out of the package? Right, right out of the package okay. and you just cut it. Okay. To, I mean, and, and the length is, that's a variable that mm -hmm. any team can choose to work with. Okay. And I'm glad that I left that little space on the back of the fuselage. I have a nice place to hold on to. Absolutely. If I, if I try to launch from here, what could happen? Well, if you don't release your fingers fast enough, yep. you could clip off your tail oh, assembly, and that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Okay, I'm not in the middle of the gym, so I'm, I'm more to the right here. Now, look at, look at the angle of your glider. Rear, okay. Yeah, let's, let's just go level with the launch. Okay. Let's not have it twisted this way yet. Or this way. Okay. Let's just go level and see what happens. So uh, parallel to back. the ground. Right. And do I want it tilted? Or? Let's just go straight ahead and see straight what, it's, okay. what it's going to do. And maybe about this much here. Right. right. Here we go. Now, I'm afraid that this will hit the... I think it will turn before we hit. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. That thing turns. Sharp. That turns. Okay, so if we have a turn, it's too, too sharp. It was pretty sharp. It pretty was like, sharp. Uh -huh. So what are our options to, to uh. open that turn up? The bigger the orbit is, the more efficient the, the airplane mm -hmm. will be in a glide. Well, we've already glued the stabilizer, the uh -huh. right? And we could use the fin, just like uh, a rudder on a boat. Mm -hmm. But there's a problem with that. And the problem is these gliders fly at two speeds. High speed on launch. When they take off. Okay, mm -hmm. and then when they're gliding, they're mm -hmm. at low speed. Well, you whatever surface you have, it could have a lot of authority at high speed mm -hmm. and not enough authority at low speed. Mm -hmm. The fin is notorious for being that type of problem. Gotcha. So what we're going to do is aerodynamically create more lift on a wing first before mm -hmm. we go to the fin. I understand about the fin because it's so small that when it's fast, it'll have a large effect. But as it slows down, not a lot of wind's going by it. Right. So mm -hmm. it could do, it could work great on the launch, mm -hmm. but not have enough effect mm -hmm. when okay. it slows down. So how am I going to get more lift on this? So what we do, and that's why, remember we had this trailing edge fin? Mm -hmm. You can see the light through it. We can see light through it. So this makes it easier to move this. Mm -hmm. And Boss is a really unique product. You can actually compress this. Remember, it's got a lot of air in it. Yep, yep. We can actually compress this. So you're just squeezing, squeezing a little bend it. In, into it. And what I'm doing is I'm actually putting a little bit of curve, a little bit of downward curve in that trailing edge. Wow. See how more. Oh, I see it. that. It's like now. So I need to be careful when I pick these up. It's it just absolutely. <laughs> Whenever you pick one of these up, mm -hmm. always pick it up by the fuselage. By the fuselage, because that wing, that little squeeze you just did right there might have a big effect on the, on the profile of the Absolutely. flight. Absolutely. Okay. And, and one more thing. We just changed a variable. Uh-huh. Yep. Do we do two changes? No, let's just do one variable. Let's just do one variable at a time. <laughs> I have that trouble with kids all the time. They want to change two or three things, and they don't right. really know which change caused the effect. Right. Okay. So all let's right. try and level launch. All right. And it's probably important that I do the same launch the same way, right? Correct. Level to the ground. Keep our variables consistent. Okay. And I would say you probably can walk out further between the two baskets. Okay. All right. So Make sure you have a level, right? Level. And last time it was a pretty, pretty tight turn. Right. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, we still have a tight turn. Yeah, still a tight turn. Okay. So what else can we do? Well, I, picked, I should pick it up by the fuselage. Right. You made it, we could increase that maybe. Right. 
Uh, now, this is just me thinking that Turn the other one opposite. Sounds great to me. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> okay, so. Here, I'll that, hold this. All right. Let, let's see you do okay. that one. So that one was bent down, and if I take this and maybe compress. You got to compress as you bend. Mm -hmm. Now, most people, including myself, think you have to make a big change for a difference, but. Let's just not. do little increments just okay. to start off with. We can always go more, and that's part of our testing. Okay, I don't know if I affected too much of a change there, but let me just see if we can. Oh, I see. You kind of, you really squeeze it right there at the tip. Squeeze out mm -hmm. that air. Okay. Hmm. All right, so we got this one going up and that one going down. Okay. Would it be a good idea if I wrote down every flight uh, to yes, see? Yes, it is. Okay. And that's why Science Olympiad, there is a flight log that's, mm -hmm. that's a requirement that every time you do an adjustment, you write down your data for each flight. Okay. Trial three, here we go. Oh, I did not like that at all. <laughs> oh, no. when, you, when you launch it, yes. angle the left tip down a significant amount. Whoa, you know, I like that, but it's pitching up and down and hitting the basket. Hit the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, I guess I have to be aware of where I'm flying also, right? Right. And, and because the airplane's flying in a circle, we're trying to launch at the outside point of a mm -hmm. radius. And now we start to really study our launch methods. Mm -hmm. So, because we want to use up as much of this airspace as we can to get our longest flight. Mm -hmm. So this is where you start changing how you angle your launches and, mm -hmm. and you document all this and maybe even take photographs of each launch. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice. Looked like it was stalling, stalling. a little bit. Well, as we, as we open up, the, the orbit is opening a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. Well, every time we open the orbit, it tends to make the airplane stall. Okay. So what we do is we could add more clay, mm -hmm. or we can take the clay we have and move it further out from the fuselage. So we bring the Very clay good. forward. Okay. So if this thing hits hard and deforms the front, well, that's another variable. That's another variable. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm getting a little close. I'm going to go this way just a little bit. Sounds good. Here we go. Trial six. Okay, I got lucky on that one. You don't get points from coming close to things, do you? No. Not okay, that was, that was good. I think we're going to add just a little bit of clay for one more launch. Okay. Oh, that was different. Here we go. Oh. oh I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't you show me okay. how you would do this? All right. Wow, would it be okay to say I hate you? <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, it must be my nature. This is a competition, so Tom, you want to try one-on-one? -on -one? Sure, let's do one. <laughs> Three, two, one, launch. Okay. And mine is down and yours is still going. <laughs> Hey, nice job. Hey, hey, Tom. <laughs> Thanks for the beginner lesson. I got Not a, a problem. Lot of, lot of practice. We can help you with that. <laughs>